and I have a 1,000% guarantee that your repair is going to screw up and you're going to get injured. You're going to end up with blurred vision at the doctor. So that's part of my disclaimer. I've had a couple of people ask me about my mechanical exper experience. I've repaired a few tractors in my days. And here's a tool tip. That uh, needle on the right, that's the one you want to use on your Harbor Freight Trench or those other three. They really won't work that well, and um, they're not, what's, not what you use for this trencher. And there is, if I remember right, one old-school Zerk on it, and um, you'll just have to find it. So that's my tool tip and disclaimer. Manuals and why I didn't use torque specs. Uh, I've just done this a lot of years. I've been a mechanic, embarrassingly. I say that having worked with hundreds of mechanics, all the way through management, the intelligence is bizarre. This is the most low forehead group of individuals. I've worked with all the occupations and professions that I've done. And oddly enough, the guy that's always picked out to be the not so smart one is when they bring in these IQ tests and reading tests, he turns out to be the smartest one of the bunch. So yeah, I was fortunate enough to get out of that not be dumbed down any further got out of that cement cave many years ago so that's why i'm embarrassed to say it and that's why i don't need a manual i actually have done it for quite a few years okay uh, you're gonna have to bear with me um i'm gonna just go step by step through this as i'm doing it this is the harbor freight ram out of uh, their cylinders it appears that all their cylinders are the same um, the problem it was a little difficult like they always are to get out of the uh, cylinder out in the field but we got it out and brought it in to rebuild it and I don't have my gimbal the charger so you just got to bear with me I'm gonna try and show you how to rebuild these rams in the kit um, or in the kit with the trencher comes these kits that uh, I uh, assume are for building the rebuilding the hydraulics on this um, this is just what came with it I'm gonna start pulling this ram apart and uh, we'll just see what's somewhere in here is where it went bad because um, I don't want to turn it without my gloves um there's a blown, there it is. There's a blown cylinder uh, right there. So um, it probably leaked around there because this is usually a dust, uh, dust seal. So and you're gonna loosen this nut. You want to give it a good tug. And because I'm one-handed here holding the camera with the other one. I'll just do this in sections so you can see how it's done. Okay, nut and two washers are removed and then you take off the top. Um, actually, all these cylinders should come off. Let me see if I can get this with one hand. There we go, well, and right there is where our problem is. smashed o-ring right there or maybe that's just no that could be it looks like we might have to do all these o-rings i think that's the one that's damaged right there yeah it is i'd have to do that's a strange one um but we'll see what happened yeah that's probably it i'll look at all of it and see what's going on Okay, right here, um, this nut had a, I guess you call them punch, set punch, and on top here, and what that did is it, it mushroomed out these threads, you, you're not going to be able to see it, you can hardly see it with the naked eye, but um, you don't want to force that off, that's going to scratch that piston, um, the inside, so what we're gonna have to do with that okay so the piston is hitting right on those uh, 
dimples on the shaft and the thread so I'm gonna take a file to them and see if I can't get this off without scratching them. Okay, so now that we found the bad seal underneath there, I did replace those in here, put this seal on, these new rings, um, and that's pretty much all there is to rebuilding it. Most of your problem work will be on this nut. Um, I'd guess it to be about a 30 millimeter nut, somewhere in there. That's more of a common size, that's why I say that. If you use your 300 millimeter wrench, you might be able to get it loose. Getting it loose can be difficult. That's one of the things I wanted to tell you about this. The other thing, apply a lot of grease to this before you put it in, just, just so you don't nick any of these uh, seals. You do, and that's just got to be careful tightening this down uh, there's two torques that I'd say you use there's tight and then there's real freaking tight they put dimples in this so you uh, so you know how far it was at when you take it apart and what I do anytime I do something like this when they have a really super high torque rating um, what I do is I'll take and tighten it down just a little tighter than it was. Well, anyway, I don't see if you can. Um, this is really hard. I'm trying to hold a light and film this all at the same time. So I don't, I don't know if you can see it or not. But there's some dimples in there. And instead of going with torque ratings, I'll take it back to where it was and a little bit tighter those those dimples were factory and they they caused some problems because when I when you pull the nut off it damages the threads and you can't get your uh, piston off so you have to be careful file the threads I kind of went through it uh, and that's about it I'll go through it as I go through this again and that's really what you want to do is just make sure that you get it a little tighter than it was and then you know you're good so tight to real tight torque settings will apply some grease so you just want to get a lot of grease around it i never say you put too much on there but grease just uh rust on your threads and uh um, keeps your our rings, all the seals from getting, uh, hopefully not from them getting nicked. If you, well, we're just doing this cylinder, but if you're ever doing another cylinder, sometimes you can use tape to protect things, but on, on this, that'll be unnecessary. Um, so that's basically it. Now I'm gonna go put this in in the dark and see if that even records. So anyway, that's rebuilding the ram, piston, and a sleeve just sliding up and down. Anyway, we'll see how this leaks or not. Uh, like I said, the damage seal was under this piston here. Job farmer, clean this crap up. <laughs>